Recently, I've been excited because I can protect my Google Cloud storage buckets, persistent disks, and BigQuery datasets with Cloud KMS keys. I love the benefits that Cloud KMS keys provide, and I'm especially a fan of the flexibility in cryptographic key creation, rotation, usage, logging, and storage. But I know that creating those keys requires some upfront design and analysis from my security team. Then I have to rely on the security team to generate the right key and send me its resource identifier before I can create the resource I'd like to protect. Luckily, Google Cloud has simplified this process with Cloud KMS AutoKey. Cloud KMS AutoKey automates the provisioning and assignment of your keys when encrypting your Google Cloud resources with encryption keys you create and control. Better yet, it incorporates recommended practices that can significantly reduce the toil associated with managing your own encryption keys. This can help you complete your projects faster. Creating encryption keys with Cloud KMS AutoKey helps you accomplish three vital goals. When you request a key, the Cloud KMS AutoKey service account automatically generates keys in accordance with the recommendations embedded within Cloud KMS AutoKey. Specifically, this means that keys are created in Cloud HSM using FIPS 140-2 L3. Keys have a default rotation period set of one year, appropriate to the HSM protection level. AutoKey creates one key per resource, per project, and location, or enables use of default keys. And the identities that can use the key to encrypt and decrypt are separated from those that rotate, destroy, change the state, or otherwise manage the key. By enforcing those recommended practices, you can rest assured that your resources are created with a consistent level of protection. You can quickly create resources and encrypt them with keys that you create and manage without all the back and forth operational toil of requesting new keys from another team. Before you can use AutoKey, your security administrator must complete the following one-time setup tasks enable Cloud KMS AutoKey on a resource folder, and identify the Cloud KMS project that will contain the keys that AutoKey creates on your behalf for that folder. Then create the Cloud KMS service agent and grant the service agent key creation and assignment privileges. And finally, grant the AutoKey user role to AutoKey users. Don't worry, I'll walk you through those setup steps in my next video. After setup, Cloud KMS AutoKey acts like a key managing assistant. Let's explore how. I will start in the AutoKey project. This is a project that will contain all of the keys created within this AutoKey demos folder. That's because Cloud KMS AutoKey facilitates separation of duties by ensuring that keys are only accessible in this project named AutoKey Key Project. There aren't any key rings or keys available yet. The first key ring and key will be created once I protect the resource with an auto key. So let's create some resources. I've navigated away from the auto key key project and onto another project named auto key encrypted resources contained in the same folder. I'd like to start by creating a Google Cloud storage bucket and protecting it with an encryption key. I've decided to name my bucket, Bucket Encrypted with AutoKey, and decided to keep the default configuration, that is, until I reach the data encryption section. This is where I want to specify that I want to encrypt my resource, and I want to do so with a Cloud KMS key. Cloud KMS AutoKey will create that key once I click on the Request a Key button. Great. Now that I've created my bucket and decided to check its configuration to verify that it's been encrypted with a Cloud KMS key. Indeed, I can see that the bucket is encrypted and there's a mention of AutoKey in this identifier. I'll head back to the AutoKey management project to verify that this key exists. Look at that. There's now a key ring in my key inventory and it's named AutoKey. The key ring was created on demand alongside the Cloud Storage bucket. The key ring contains a key, and I can see it's protecting a Google Cloud Storage bucket. The key identifier matches the identifier I saw in the Cloud Storage bucket. That was fast and easy. 
As I review the key information, I can see that Google Cloud's recommended practices were automatically applied. The key rotation frequency will be every 365 days. The protection level is HSM. The key is protecting one bucket, and the key is able to encrypt and decrypt the objects in that bucket. Best of all, if I create another bucket, a new key will be created in just the same way, so I can rely on these recommended practices to be applied consistently. That's why I consider Cloud KMS Auto Key to be the easy button for encrypting my resources with Cloud KMS keys. Thanks to AutoKey, I don't need to think about provisioning key rings and keys every time I want to create new resources. Instead, AutoKey generates encryption keys on demand as resources are created. And I can manage and control AutoKey created keys just like any manually created key. Cloud KMS AutoKey can be used via the Google Cloud Console, Cloud KMS API, and Terraform. For more information, check out the links in the video description. See you later.